Jesus also said, The kingdom of God is like a farmer who scatters seed on the ground. Mark 4, 26, New Living Translation. Ah, spring. Okay, I know it's only February, but spring is coming. Somewhere out there, my garden is still buried in snow, but, but I'm looking forward to spring. I've, I've even been looking at my seed catalogs and ordering seeds and thinking about gardening, even though everything is still covered with snow. Someday, plants are going to grow out there in my garden. And I've been thinking a little about a parable that Jesus told. It's a short parable about gardening. Mark 4, verses 26 to 29, read this way in the New Living Translation. Jesus also said, The kingdom of God is like a farmer who scatters seed on the ground. Night and day while he's asleep or awake, the seed sprouts and grows, but he does not understand how it happens. The earth produces the crops on its own. First a leaf blade pushes through, and then the heads of wheat are formed, and finally the grain ripens. And as soon as the grain is ready, the farmer comes and harvests it with a sickle, for the harvest time has come. You know, that there are many lessons in this parable. We'll just look at one or two briefly. One of them is that farmer represents us in a way. We are the hands and feet of Christ on this earth. We need to do our part in getting the garden ready to grow plants. We, we prepare the soil, we enrich it, we plant seeds, we water them. But there's only so much that we can do in gardening. We can't make the seed grow. We just help it grow. And it's the same when we share God's love with others. We can't make spirituality suddenly awaken and grow in our children, in our classroom of kids, in our neighbors or our friends. We can, we can only help set the right atmosphere, prepare things for the Holy Spirit to work, but the power to cause spiritual growth the power to transform lives is not in you or me. That's God's work, and we don't get the credit when it happens. Another lesson, the, the gardener's work is always one of faith. We, we don't understand how seeds grow into plants. But we have confidence that when we put those little seeds into the row in the garden, they will grow and there will be a harvest. You know, today we usually buy our seeds in brightly cover colored packages. Sometimes they're even coated with stuff to help keep them fresh longer or grow better. We would never think of eating our seeds today. But back in Jesus' day, even in our parents' and grandparents' day, people often harvested the grain or the potatoes or whatever from their fields and gardens and then stored them away and ate them through the winter, always saving out some, whether it was potatoes or grain or whatever it was, always saving out some to plant again in the spring. Sometimes it seemed like such a terrible waste. All those long months of winter had gone by, food supplies were running low, and, and how good it would have tasted to eat the rest of those seeds or potatoes or whatever they were, but they knew they needed to save them to plant so that there would be a harvest again next year. They had faith in the harvest. You know, we plant seeds in people's hearts, seeds of the kingdom. We do it by our words and our actions. And sometimes it may not look like anything is happening. Sometimes it seems like all our efforts have been wasted. But the promise is there that someday there will be a harvest. 
The Bible tells us that the harvest is the end of the world. It's the second coming of Jesus. We can't make those seeds of the gospel grow in people's lives, but we have a work to do in preparing the ground, in helping to plant those seeds in their hearts, and someday we will be able to watch with joy as the harvest takes place. Father, take us out in your garden just like this little boy. Teach us how to plant and care for the seeds of love that you want to place in hearts around us. May we soon see you coming to the great and final harvest. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.